What's up, KMA Land? Sports Director Derek Martin here with you. August 7th. That means football season is underway. Football season? Are you kidding me? August 7th? Yes, football season. We're only 16 days away from week zero in Iowa and 23 days away from week one. I had to do some quick math there. Fremont Mills is one team playing in week zero, so I came over to Tabor, talked with Jeremy Christensen, one of his star players, Mackenzie Lang, as they get ready for their week zero showdown with West Harrison coming up on August 23rd. Believe it or not, August 23rd. Folks, today's word is football. <sighs> All right, talking with Coach Jeremy Christensen. Coach, uh, obviously uh, just 18 days away from game number one, so a lot to get done, I guess. Uh, day number one, uh, take us through the full day. I know you had some meetings and stuff. There's, uh, like I said, a lot to get done. Well, obviously day one, there, as you said, there's a lot to be done. Uh, you have 18 days to get ready for a big game, uh, so you try to plan out each day what you're going to get accomplished. Uh, and you never get that list fully done. Um, so obviously today we're get, trying to get in the basics of practice, uh, try to get in the timing of how everything's going to go so that tomorrow we're able to set a pace and get going at a much faster rate. Uh, you know, we just did special teams, which took probably five, ten minutes longer than what it normally will. Uh, and same with our pre-practice. We took a little bit more time making sure everything's set up. Uh, this morning we had our meetings trying to make sure getting helmets, everything's fit and perfect so we don't have to worry about that. And So hopefully we're ready to go. You've dealt with week zero before, but uh, explain the differences of how quickly and uh, you guys have to move in order to get ready for this. Yeah, no, week zero seems to be a different beast than planning for a regular week one because uh, you, you're in that summer mode still. You know, you're looking at August 5th rather than August 12th. Uh, so it's probably harder for the kids to get ready to go for it. Uh, you know, for us, we still have 18 days no matter if we started today or next Monday for our game. So. Uh, you know, just got to get the mentality of football going and get rid of the, you know, I'm going to sit around and watch fireworks type thing. What's, uh, tell us about this team this year. A um, couple of seniors but uh, and a few guys back that are juniors that are kind of going to, I guess, probably look to be leaders. Yeah, you know, we got a, a good group of kids. We have two seniors on our team this year, uh, none of which have played football before. Uh, so we're going to rely heavily on our junior class and our sophomore class to step up, fill some gaps from what we've had over the last couple of years. Uh, you know, these guys got to find their own identity. Uh, we've been a very heavy run team in the past. Uh, and probably not going to be able to do that this year. We're probably going to need be a little bit more balanced, uh, which is good. I think our kids are ready for it, and they seem to be excited. Four different guys attempted passes last year at the quarter. I don't know if it was at the quarterback position or not. I know McKenzie, I don't know how much quarterback he played. Maybe it was a special you guys had or something like that. Uh, tell us about the quarterback position. Yeah, you know, we got all kinds of people that are probably able to uh, look that way. Uh, I'd say probably we're looking at uh, sophomore and Jason Rustin or freshman and uh, Sam Phillips. Uh, so they got a lot of time, you know, to try to get everything figured out in order to be ready to go on game one. The backfield has always been a strength for you. A couple of years ago, some kid named Nate Meyer was in the backfield, used him a fair amount. Last year, Spencer Phillips was just a sophomore, and you had Clayton Wilson there. Uh, the backfield, tell us about that one. Well, you know, obviously we know we got a pretty good guy in Spencer Phillips to go there. Uh, you know, he's going to obviously have some help. You know, we have Chris Goodman, Mackenzie Lang. Uh, we have some younger guys that can step up and hopefully make some make some plays for us. And so it'll, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out because Spencer's a very good tight end also. Uh, nice to have him up front blocking, setting the edge. Uh, so it'll be dependent on packages, where everybody will go. And, you know, I guess in 18 days we'll have to figure that out. Offensive line has uh, been the big part of your team the last couple of years. Uh, I think, you, you know, Nate could have got some of his yards on his own, but not all of them, uh, two years ago. And then last year's uh, line with Mark Hall leading the way in that group. Uh, how's the line looking? You know, that, and that we've talked about that all summer long is we got to get our offensive line figured out because uh, that has been a stronghold for us. And so, you know, we got a group of kids uh, that have worked really hard in the weight room uh, trying to prepare themselves for the grind of hopefully 14 games. Uh, and so right now it's being led by uh, Derek Swanson, Brett Blackburn, and Hayden Meyer. And, you know, obviously we got some other guys there, but we feel those those three are probably prepared to take the uh, reins of that special unit for us because without them, as you said, the game goes nowhere. Defensively, uh, strong defenses the last couple of years, and especially two years ago. I don't think you gave too much up with your first unit in there, which they didn't play too long anyway. But uh, I guess so. What's the defense looking like? It's probably some of the, the same names. Yeah, you know, you're talking the same names on defense. It, 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 our theory is going to be the same: try to keep the ball in front of us, uh, but be fairly aggressive at the snap. Uh, we probably aren't going to be terribly aggressive pre-snap with blitzes and such, uh, which we haven't been in the past. Uh, I do think that as an overall team, we're going to be uh, fine speed wise uh, and then it's all going to come down to the pass rush and so hopefully we get that taken care of we 
same kids we talked about earlier uh, that I hope are ready to step up and make some plays. With what you did two years ago winning the state championship, you'll always have huge expectations here no matter how long you're, you're here, no matter what you have, I guess. So you mentioned hopefully 14 games. Yep. So talk about what you kind of say to these guys coming in here and, and trying to set those expectations. Well, you know, we talked a lot about it. Most of these guys were on that team, and, you know, it's time for them to step up and set their own style, set their own identity. Uh, and so this is their time to do that. Uh, and, you know, for the juniors that are coming up with two seniors that haven't played before, it's their chance to do it for two straight years. Uh, and so they understand that the, the expectations are high, that the opportunities are high for them. Uh, and so it's all, all about what they make of it. It feels weird to talk about districts on August 5th because that's a long ways off. Uh, but uh, looking at this district, uh, you got Southwest Valley, Corning, and Villisca combining, so you've lost a team. Eight team district. Uh, what are you looking at there? Uh, tell us about who are some of the favorites. Well, you know, the favorite, as usual, is whoever won last year, and that's Sydney. Uh, you know, they lost some athletes, but they still have a great group of kids. Uh, so right now, they've got to be at the top of the list. Uh, and then you're looking Cam, Lennox. Uh, great guys coming back uh, all of which have holes filled just like we do uh, but they're gonna be fast physical ready to play Southwest Valley with the combining two schools you just never know uh, and then you got Essex uh, South Page together Nishnabotna uh, and then hopefully we fall somewhere toward the top half so you're picking eighth for your team <laughs> I'm not saying we've did it in order but yeah. we hope to be in the top yeah. half uh, West Harrison's the first opponent uh, week zero I guess 23rd August 23rd 18 days from now and uh, you know a little bit about them and uh, some familiar names with that group uh, the Roden kid Birdsell kid uh, both great track athletes I guess so probably uh, translates pretty well to the field yeah you know I have not seen film on them uh, just talking to other coaches uh, talked to their coach when we played them in baseball this summer uh, and, and we know they're fast. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You're talking about two kids that can fly, and they have more kids that obviously can run fast. Uh, so our goal is obviously try to contain them, uh, try to keep the ball away from them as long as possible. You know, as long as that clock's running, we should be hopefully working toward our goal and uh, see what happens at the end. Had a chance to watch a little bit here. You're kind of mean. <laughs> you know, <laughs> expectations, as we sp said, are high, and uh, we just try to do things correct. Just kidding. Usually he's a nice guy, you know, just working with him as the AD. I haven't seen him yell that much. But, uh, Coach, thanks a lot. Uh, good luck to you this year. Looking forward to seeing how you guys do. Thank you very much. All right, Junior, Mackenzie Lang. And, uh, Mackenzie, this is going to be a different year for you. Obviously, you played quite a bit last year, but uh, uh, a great senior class that year. And then uh, as you're, when you were a freshman, there was a great senior class there when you guys won it all. Um, so this is, this is kind of your year, your team, I guess. Can you talk about uh, how you're changing your approach a little bit? Um, I'm starting to look at football in a different way now. I'm starting to like it a little bit more as I'm becoming a leader and everything and trying to do the best I can for my team and, you know, help them out and get them where they want to go. It's going to be pretty rough. It's going to be a hard, we have to work hard at it. But other than that, we just got to focus and get the job done. Uh, being a member of uh, two great teams as you were the state champion in last year's team, I guess, what, what did you take from, from those groups? Just the experience. It was experience of a lifetime. It's fun. I like the guys I was with. Get my good teammates. Miss them dearly. Um, we're missing a lot, but it was something that I look forward to going back to. Hopefully. Now we were kind of talking on the way over here, trying to figure out what what kind of what your role might be offensively, what where you might end up. Uh, what are they kind of telling you right here this year? So far, just running the ball. Hopefully, getting a lot of action and putting my legs to work. Uh, Spencer is another big junior in, in your really good junior class. Uh, tell us about growing up with the, with this group, your 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 junior class, and how successful you guys have been. Um, we haven't had too bad of a we haven't had too bad of a team in the years I played with them. We've had our struggles against a few teams, but that's just all mental. Going there thinking that we're bigger and better than everybody else, and underestimate everybody. And this year we're going into every game like it's our last and just going to blow through everybody hopefully. Like I said, uh, Coach, since you won the state championship two years ago, that expectation's always out there. Um, I guess tell us what Coach has kind of been, what kind of expectations he has set at this point. Um, he just wants us to stay focused, work our hardest, do everything like it's our last time playing, just push everybody to the limit, be a good role model, help everybody out if they have questions, answer them, just work with the team as a team. 18 days away from game number one, I guess. What, what goes into trying to get ready for this thing uh, so quickly? Just being well prepared, getting my plays down, making sure everybody's focused and have their plays down and just have our mindset right to beat them. Well, Mackenzie, great uh, talking with you. Good luck to you this year. I hope to see you shining as uh, we kind of expect you to. Yeah, thank you.